This is a baby pineapple plant. With this video, I'm going to show how to grow pineapple. Now you've eaten the pineapple and you have a, a head like this. You try to cut off any wet parts as much as possible. So that you'd have only the part that is hard. All the wet parts you need to get rid of completely and then carefully tear off these leaves. want to go in rows as they appear and I'll tell you why in a minute you need to take them off because you can't take everything off together there's another important reason why you need to take them off one after the other and this is because sometimes a root, I mean roots, are already growing. You can see these brown bits? Those are roots already growing. So I'll carry on taking off these leaves. And then I'll show you, because I'm going to take it off, to expose enough, that's about an inch, so that we'll be able to stick it into the soil. So I'll show you when I finished taking off the leaves, how much of it should be exposed. Now I've taken the leaves off, this is just about an inch. And then we have some roots exposed. A lot of the times when you buy these pineapples, they have a label sticking on it. And that label, for them to stick it on, they make a hole. You can cut this pineapple along that part so that that hole will be exposed. Because you need to cut this pineapple into two but what I always try to do is I use that hole that's already been created so that you don't just have a hole on your pineapple you already cut it and let it be open so that it gets a chance to be exposed to air now carefully because it's very hard that's why I'm using this sharp knife so don't You may cut it into four, but I usually just cut it into two. That's two halves. That's the place where that's the place where they put the label. So it's already exposed. It can dry out. You now take this, get rid of the leaves in the center. This is where the new baby pineapple will grow from. So we have that.
and get rid of the leaves in the center here as well they are even trying to fall off by themselves already so you have this deep this is where the new pineapple will grow out from some people will say put it in water well because i've cut it i don't usually put it in water i'll just put it in the soil straight away and then water it this pot of soil you make sure the pineapple is resting properly don't put it in upright put it in and let it rest on the edge of the pot if you're doing it on the ground let the back rest on the ground and then pile the soil on it to cover that area where the new pineapple will grow out from and since we have two I put the other one on the other side now the reason for placing it flat is because the roots are here you place it down a lot more roots will probably come out of this place and then when the baby is being formed it comes out of here it's upright not going sideways it's facing up that makes the baby to come out quicker so let's it touch pile soil on it the soil is already wet but I will still water it a little more now you can see that I placed this pot in a nylon bag this is because I don't want anything like some squirrel or some birds walking around out there to displace it so I have it in the bag resting properly and I'll just put it outside this is so that some animals that are just passing by do not make it fall down and secondly I don't want too much sun on the leaves of the pineapple I don't want them to just go and get dry like that they need to be protected in such a way that they don't get dry so what if you are planting directly in soil then make sure you plant it very close to another plant so that it's in shade that's the best way to do it this pineapple has to remain alive long enough for the new baby pineapple to come out this is how to grow a pineapple and I'll show you the one I did eight weeks ago here it is so I put in that half I place it in the nylon bag and make sure it's in the shade you can see the old pineapple leaves that I planted are still looking green and fresh and they have been able to push out a new baby pineapple this is a new baby pineapple I can now take this And pull them off not pulling everything off 
just to give this new baby pineapple the space to grow. The ones at the back are dry, so you can just take all these leaves off. The dry ones are already falling off anyway. So this can remain until this remaining two also get dry and they can be pulled off easily. And I have my baby pineapple here. Just to pile the soil on. This can be placed in a sunny position because it's shown us that it's able to grow a new baby. It must have developed proper roots that are going to support this plant. So remember to fertilize it, to water it. And this is how you grow your pineapple. So don't let your pineapples just go to waste. Use the pineapple crown to create new ones. Even if it's just for the fun of seeing how it happens, I think it's worth it to be able to do this. And if you want to do it on a commercial basis, you find hundreds of pineapple crowns being thrown away. Collect a few and stick them in the soil in your backyard in your allotments, in your farms, in your gardens and very soon the pineapples will be growing. It will take six months and you can harvest your pineapple. I'll show you how this goes along. Please remember to leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel Princess Lillian's Gardens. We'll come back again to see how my pineapple goes along. Thank you and bye.